my Pop It in the Toaster Oven Cookbook. Fabulous cookbook. If you got a toaster oven, this is a good book to get. And if you don't have a toaster oven, perhaps after you see how I make this wonderful cornbread recipe, you may just want to buy a toaster oven. Now here's, um, here's the ingredients you'll need for the cornbread. This is so simple. Uh, this is a cup of, I say skim milk. You can use any kind of milk you want, but I'm using skim milk here. Here is two tablespoons of oil, and I love cold pressed olive oil. That's my favorite, but you can use any oil you want. Here is two tablespoons of sugar. Uh, also, there's one beaten egg right here. Here's the cornmeal. Here in North Carolina, you can get cornmeal in white, yellow, stone ground. It's amazing how much cornmeal they sell here in North Carolina. This is just reg regular cornmeal, and it is one cup. And here is a quarter of a cup of flour. I like the unbleached flour, so that's what I'm using. And then four teaspoons of baking powder. The pan I'm using for the cornbread is going to be the eight and a half by four and a half by two and a quarter size. I have it greased a little bit with the oil. Now I'm going to put all of the ingredients in a bowl, but before I go any further, I'm going to preheat my toaster oven to 425 degrees. Here goes the milk, the sugar, the oil, egg, this is so easy. <laughs> Baking powder, cornmeal, unbleached flour, and then I'm going to add probably a half a teaspoon of salt. That's, you can add salt to taste. And of course this gets blended really well. And the batter goes into the baking pan. And it, you know, if it's a little lumpy, that's okay. It'll all come out perfectly in the end. Okay, so the toaster oven is up to temperature, 425. In goes the cornbread. I've got to be careful not to touch anything hot in here. You can use oven mitts if you're not feeling very daring about putting stuff in and out. Also, I have to say that toaster ovens, if you don't have a toaster oven and you want to buy one, I definitely think that one with a sliding shelf like this is a good way to go just for that reason. So you're not putting your hands in where the elements are because this is hot. It's hot in here by the way, but it's certainly not heating up the kitchen. Now I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. Well, it was 20 minutes. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful cornbread. Now I'm going to have to try it. Hmm. Perfect cornbread. Put a little butter on it. Drizzle with maple syrup or honey. Great for breakfast. It's better for you than Pop-Tarts. We like it down here in the south, um, cornbread and fried chicken. That just rounds out the most perfect meal in the world. Here's my cookbook. Pop it in the toaster oven. You can buy it anywhere. Amazon, your favorite bookstore. It's been around for a long time. I think it's still alive and well because of the videos I do and because it's a trade book, actually. Maybe you're old like I am. You see a recipe 
It takes heating up your oven to do it, a casserole or a roast or something. I think. I'm not going to fire up that oven. That's too much and it's too hot. You don't have to. And toaster ovens actually are not very expensive. I recommend getting a six slice toaster oven. I prefer Cuisinart. I like Cuisinart. Black & Decker. There's a lot of really good brands. And you can bake all kinds of wonderful things, not heat up the kitchen, not use up a lot of energy. So why not? If you have a toaster oven, I highly recommend this book. After all, I wrote it. I better recommend it. And you should consider getting a toaster oven. Um, I don't think it's a speed type appliance like a microwave is. But it actually is a small oven, so you can get all of the wonderful benefits of baking. The crusts and low-fat, really yummy, crispy, gooey, lovely, tasty stuff in your toaster oven. Also, as long as I'm talking to you, I'll bring it up free online art classes. I'm an artist. I've been teaching art for a long time. And I've made a website that offers all different kinds of classes in painting, drawing, collage, printmaking, and a lot of art resources like art tours and travels, artful lighting. I'm a lighting specialist as well. Artful gardening. I love gardening. So all of that is in there and you should check it out. And it's totally free. No, 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 you don't have to buy anything. I don't even want your email. You could just get in there and take the classes you want. And most of the classes are videos. It's not a lot to read, easy to do, and these are straightforward, really inf information-rich classes that you can follow you can pause, you can go back and run through it again and watch the demos over and over again. All totally free. Totally free. And if you live in the Wilmington area, why? This is where it all happens. This is my sunroom studio. Sign up for my classes. It's right there at the button that says Wilmington Art Classes. So, pop it in the toaster oven cookbook free online art classes, and have a lovely summer.